Good afternoon. How are you today on this beautiful Monday? We're June 29th. And today I come to you with a goddess nudge from goddess Artemis. Artemis is a great goddess of the hunt. She is the one who's going to teach you how to tr select um, a goal or a project that is really so aligned for you and how to never mind all the noise that you might hear around you, all the shoulds, all the different thought processes, the programmings and beliefs that you might have um, took upon you through your life so that you can really come up and emerge with your own soul purpose and your own soul goal that's going to make your heart sing. And from that place, pull on the bow and the arrow and allow goddess Artemis to help you meet that goal in the way that's going to be the easiest and the most joyful for you. Goddess Artemis, of course, is the goddess we are working with this month in the Goddess Activations Program. There is still time for you to join us in this beautiful journey. So if you want to join us, um, let me know and I will send you the link so you can register today and you can totally catch up because um, there's always space for you, always place to learn so you can join us for the Goddess Activations. So part of my work today, as I was guiding the wonderful women who have stepped forward in that sacred circle of the Goddess Activations program, is to channel uh, a message from Goddess Artemis for them. And so I'm still in this um, state of beingness in um, the channeling, channeling aspects. I want to share these messages with you as well, because I'm sure it's going to resonate with some of you. So Goddess Artemis is saying, my loves, you know, when you develop your intuition and you constantly ask yourself, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right way? Is this the right way to connect? Is this the right way to do this exercise or that exercise so that I can really develop my intuition? My loves, when you do that, you are no longer in your intuitive self. You're in your mind. And your mind is what blocks you from being in the flow. Therefore, if you want to develop more flow, more intuitive flow, more joy in your daily practice, allow yourself to be like the arrow on the bow and let go. Who you are is enough. What you do is enough. Ground yourself be in the present moment. This process is not about learning to do it right. This process is about grounding and knowing what is the right thing for you. And that's a world of a difference because you're not stopping yourself at every other sentence, asking yourself, is this right? Is this right? Am I doing this right? Can you feel the difference between always that thinking mind and asking the question, wondering if you're doing this right, wondering if, if you're on the right path? Every day when you walk, do you ask yourself, am I putting the right foot in front of the other? Is this the way that I walk? Is this the way that I take the next step? Is this the way that I get up from the couch or the chair? These things are automated because you know how to do it. It's intrinsic. So is your intuition. You already know how to do this. Stop doubting yourself. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy being in the moment. Take the next step and then the next step, and then the next step, the way that you know how, the way that is good for you. And so it is. And so I invite you now, if it is the right thing for you, the next right step for you to join me and the other woman in that beautiful experience of Artemis, where you'll get to get more messages from the goddess and where you get to really listen to your self. This is not about me teaching you how to be more intuitive. It's not about me teaching you how to get to your goals, but it's about me remembering, helping you remember that you can already do this 
that you already know this, that you're already good enough for this. So if this tugs at your heartstrings, register today and I'm waiting for you in the sacred circle. Bye for now.